Hey guys, this is Virtual Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming potential two tropical cyclones that could become Tropical Storm Fred and Elsa. Elsa will become first. The National Hurricane Center has two disturbances highlighted in the Atlantic, but before we get into this, like to ask you to subscribe about 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Let's get right into this. These are two different invests. The yellow one is invest 95L. The orange is invest 97L. The orange one has a better chance of formation with a 60% chance through five days. And this disturbance will pose a greater threat to land generally. However, this disturbance may also impact land. However, the chances are low for it to form. Only 20%. Um, it does mention development, if any of the system should be slow to occur. Let's move on to the models. These are potential paths for Invest 95L, which is a disturbance closer to the islands and the Caribbean. All these models you see here have it generally going the same kind of area, south of Puerto Rico and south of Cuba and Jamaica. However, the National Hurricane Center does have it going northwards and potentially striking these islands bringing heavy rain however it is a pretty complicated system to occur especially with that system behind it that could influence it so just keep your eyes on the weather and monitor your local weather pages and services for this potential system the main one I'm concerned about is invest 97l which is that disturbance that has a higher chance of formation and you can see these models do generally agree on the path of it pretty well for being long range, and I'm actually quite surprised how well they agree on each other. But this model generally has it um, going south of Puerto Rico and Cuba and going into the Gulf of Mexico to potentially impact the United States. However, that is not for either 144 hours or 168 hours. Timing does vary on these models, it looks like. This is intensity guidance for that same system. A lot of the models have it becoming a hurricane, with one of them reaching Category 2 status, and all of them have it becoming a tropical storm. Overall, I think this system is likely to form. However, it becoming a hurricane is the main question. And as long as nothing else gets in the way of it, like that other system we talked about, Invest 95L. These are the current sea surface temperatures in degrees Celsius. You can see south of Puerto Rico in that area, 27 to 28 degrees Celsius, so it's warm enough waters for development. However, when you do get in the Caribbean area near Jamaica and Cuba, that warms up to 30 degrees Celsius. And that may cause some tropical development to speed up in there and potentially strengthen if nothing else is in the way of it. However, when it does eventually enter the Gulf, if it does, the waters do cool down slightly. That's just the weather forecast for potential tropical storm or hurricane Elsa or Fred. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.